Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. We are back in Bretagne today, which is our French map that we've got a bit of a English flair to. Uh, we have got £14.5 million pounds in the bank, which is uh, which is going well. Uh, in the last episode we finished, uh, I mean I know it's been two weeks since the last episode, that's partially uh, due to the fact that my computer decided to throw a hissy fit, so we didn't have an episode last weekend. But we're back, the series hasn't ended, uh, don't panic about that. Now, uh, now what we're going to be doing today is assessing what the best course of action is now. So we have got enough money for a train. Now, you could argue it's better to put it on the René to Chalons line, which is massively overcrowded. I mean, look at that. We've got uh, Chateaubriand, we've got 360 passengers waiting, and uh, we've then got 340 there. So putting another train on would make sense to try and deal with that overcrowding. However, we have just constructed this line down here, haven't we? So it would make sense to put a train on there. So it's between the two. I think that we're going to go for a train on the new line. It would make sense, wouldn't it? And it might even ease overcrowding on this line here. So we're going to go for the 321. Again, because the 319 doesn't seem to be here. Uh, I have no idea why it's not. Um, people did say, have you subscribed to the 319 on the workshop, Joe? Yes, I have. I have absolutely no idea why it might not be there. But uh, it's a very bizarre one. Maybe we've just not unlocked it yet. Who knows? Um, but yeah, we're going to go for this uh, out of the two. We've got the Anglia Electrics, that's running up and down on this line at the minute. So we'll go for the Northampton line. We'll keep it networked southeast. Uh, right, that's the René de Le Croisic local. We'll keep it networked southeast, just so that they all, you know, there's a bit of a bit of a pattern here. We're, we're going for a bit more of a South England, uh, Southern England flair here, aren't we? We're, uh, I've, I've mentioned flair too many times in this video. But what the only difference is, of course, is that we get a little plaque saying Northampton line rather than uh, Anglia Electrics, but uh, I do like how they used to root brand them, I think that's quite nice. I think that's quite nice. The 21442. What's the other one going the other way? I mean, obviously it's just the repaint that has the uh, the numbers on, what are you? What are you? Your 321442 as well. Oh, that's some lazy repainting, is that? Goodness me. The, uh, the 321 is one of my favourite units available in this game. I, I think it's fantastic. I just love the I love the sounds. I love the, how you've got the do 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 like all the time. It's ace. Right, let's let's get him going. So uh, obviously we've got buses connecting Rennes Interchange. Uh, Band de Bretagne. Uh, we don't have anything there. Currently we don't have an awful lot going on. This is going to be a massive commuter line into Rennes, isn't it? We've also got a bus station at Redon, uh, Saint Nazar. Right, we've got that linked up because I think our Atlanteans are all linked up to there, so that's good. Uh, what else have we got? That's linked up, and that is also linked up in Le Croisic. It hopefully should take a bit of pressure off the Atlanteans, to be honest with you, because there is there is a lot of pressure on the Atlanteans. I might get a bus running between these two just to link them up. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Right, okay, so Band de Bretagne. Uh, right, okay, so which which way are we going? So we're going to go down here. Yeah, that'll do. We get a good coverage of the uh, of the town slash city there. Come up through these houses. We'll go over the other side. We'll put that bus stop in there to allow for expansion. We'll then come down into Redon. And again, we'll put a bus stop there just to allow for expansion over the tracks. I think that... Makes an awful lot of sense. Right, if we go for a bus garage, or just a, a road vehicle garage in general, right, there we go. We can't afford it. Excellent! Has this guy not stopped at all? He's not stopped, has he? Oh, right, okay, fair dues. Where's he going? Is he going over there? Yes, he is. I mean, this is, of course, I reckon this is going to be a big, big station on there here. There we go, right, off you pop. I mean, it's going to take a while for these to actually start producing, isn't it? Have we got any more loan? No, we haven't. Excellent. Yeah, I, I sort of have maxed that out. Right, if we stick you in there, hopefully we can afford a bus. I mean, we'll just go for a single decker. There's no need for anything too fancy, is there? B10M Alexander, how much are you going to cost? Probably more money than I've got. 
There we go. Let's let's. Oh yeah, six hundred and six thousand. Right. Okay. We'll add to the. Uh, we'll we'll go for the the fast forward. Date speed obviously very slow there. Aha. Right. There we go. We'll put one on. Obviously we can uh, we can always add more later. So we're going to go for the bus. Yeah. Lovely. Into town, through town, out the other side, down this main road, and into Redon. Just like that. Excellent. Just a short little bus ride. Little little between town hopper. So that will be the bus. Uh, Bain de Bretagne to Redon. There we go. Right. Is, is that bus? There we go. Get you out on the route, sir. I mean, you're going to really struggle out for, uh, for passenger capacity if I go... I mean, where's this... Oh, look, the train's over there with zero passengers. The bus has got zero on. I mean, obviously, the bus has just left the garage. So, uh, give him a bit of time. Well, uh, there we go. Where's he going? Rue de Roisier. I apologise for the stuttering. It is quite, a, uh, quite an intensive map, this one. Where are we going? Are we going? Are we heading towards? Oh, we're heading towards. Oh, wow, the Leyland National now has a mainline Sheffield livery. We've got. Oh, we've got unlocking a few nationals. Five passengers. Please tell me that these guys are going to get off here and go to the. Uh, oh, they are. I like that. I like that a lot. Right, this chap's whizzing along. Has he, he stopped at Redon, hasn't he? There we go. Yep. Oh, the Man NL202 Berlin spec. I like that. Oh, there's quite a lot of buses we're unlocking. Wow. SD202, Alfa Romeo's. Brilliant. I think, can we use these as taxis? I think we probably can, can't we? I mean, there's... Hell, Toyota Celica, Volvo 850. This is a lot of cars we're unlocking. BW Golf. Atlantean liveries, Airbus A320, wow, yeah, there's, there's quite a bit coming here, isn't there, I mean, we can just keep clicking this all day long, 90 miles an hour, this is a uh, fairly quick route, isn't it, to be honest with you, I've got any passengers waiting yet, a couple, we might actually only need one train on this, if it's not, uh, if it's not too much of a busy route, that just looks good, doesn't it, from the motorway, just, just train flying in, with bridges, of course, so that they can actually get across the station. Yep, we've, we've thought about everything this time round. And then down here, you see, this doesn't actually have that many passengers waiting, does it, to be fair? 13. I'd have thought there'd have probably have been more. How many have we got here? Ah, oh, you see, there's quite a few waiting here for it. It's also probably due to the fact it's not very frequent. That does usually have an impact as to how many passengers you've got. Having said that, this bus isn't very frequent, and there's quite a few waiting there. I reckon they're all going to the station. Although, to be fair, there's quite a few getting on here for the uh, for the intercity intercity service. Right, let's uh, let's get a few more buses on here. Oh, not enough money. All right, there we go, three buses. That'll be enough. I reckon we're probably going to need about ten. For this little service in the end, our, our Ben de Bretagne, I reckon, is going to expand. Oh. We did have enough money, now all of a sudden we don't again. It, it really does fluctuate up and down, doesn't it? There we go. Right, four buses. That should be enough for now, surely. Wow, that's actually got 20 passengers on board, so hopefully they're all going to go for the train. They are. Excellent. Right, so the Le Croisic local, the René to Le Croisic local, is on his way. Look at that. I mean, that is a view and a half, isn't it? Should we, uh, should we try and get some sort of nice screenshot of the Seaside Express? Please tell me that that screenshot worked. Did it, it, it seem to? I mean, that is just beautiful, isn't it? Quite loud. <laughs> I'll probably end up turning the volume of the game down just a little bit. I usually do, to be fair, when when this goes out, because otherwise you won't be able to hear my uh, my dulcet tones. What I've got waiting here: 46 passengers. I mean, that could be this train full and standing.
So obviously we can have this going here and then we can have another line walk, working its way around the coast into, uh, into north. So many passengers waiting. I do also want to work on that. Uh, I mean, we can deliver food to René. That accepts more or less everything if you encamp Bruz in as well. I mean, food also can come to Band de Bretagne. I can see these merging into one sort of gigantic mega city, you know, in this corner. And of course, Lifre. They've already got houses this side of the uh, this side of the, la the roundabout. Expanding out here as well. Look at that. So next stop, Saint Nazaire, where there is 21 passengers waiting to go via Redon. So I'm hoping that this is going to drop a few off. I mean, he is losing his money, isn't he, at the minute? But I reckon he's going to start making his money this train. I mean, our other passenger line, the René to Chalons is our best earning line, isn't it? I was looking at potentially, I mean, this is our worst earning line, but it hasn't actually started making money yet. So I thought maybe if we have, that's this is why I've gone for the passenger line, because I did want to put some freight in. I do want to do more freight. Uh, that is no secret at all about the freight, but at this moment in time, if this is going to earn the money, then, you know, we may as well, right, there we go, we'll pay a bit of that back. We're going to need another train on this line, aren't we? That's, that's just going to happen. Problem is, is I don't want to send too many trains down this line, put this line in, and then all of a sudden everything, you know, everything just stops. Twenty-three passengers. So this is either going to be full and standing. Or we might just get away with it if it's going to drop a few off. Go on, drop a few off. Literally nobody's getting off the train. Oh, this is not good. This is not... Oh, right, okay. Yep, some people have got off. Excellent. Oh, we're not full. That is excellent news. That's good because that means that some people are just, you know, just commuting down this bit of the line. That's that's really, really good indeed. Positive. Right, let's, uh, let's pop the uh, the full steam ahead on. Make a bit of cash. Hopefully this is, yeah, like I say, what, what's the next stop? Red Dawn. Lovely. People are going to get off there, of course. Change for the bus. People were asking as well, the grain, uh, when we put lines through the grain fields, it does, and obviously this has, uh, we will do some TLC regarding that at some point. I do just want to get to a point where we're actually making quite a bit of money before we work on cosmetics. So don't worry everybody, we, I, it is noted, it's on the to-do list. It's just one of them where I'm like, we just don't have the money, because obviously it costs money to do that. 72 out of 80, come on, let's, uh, oh yeah, I forgot it stops at Band de Britannia, and we're not going to be able to fit everybody on. But I mean, at this moment in time, two trains look like they might just do the job. Right, hang on, there we go, repay a bit more cash. This is where nobody gets off. Okay, a few have. But not many. <laughs> wow. There is a lot of passengers waiting for this. I mean, that is leaving not actually that full. So this might be... This might be the, the sort of way to take the pressure off this line that we needed. I do like this little bit where it... Please look at that grain field, that's ridiculous. What I'd like to do is sort of delete everything in this this trench so there's no grain growing on the side of a hill because that's just stupid. There we go, that's going to pop in here. Ah yes, the double flip switch. Got that in operation, haven't we? So you can come in there. The, uh, the speed, or the lack thereof, will impact the amount of money we make. But I do like the realism side of things. Right, we'll repay a bit more. Oh no, hang on. It, ah, there we go. Right, repay. Repay. Look at that. Repay more. So by doing this, we'll be able to obviously pay less loan interest. 
and we'll be able to... Oh, no! Massively in the uh, in the hole there. That's no good. I wonder how many this has on now to change. Quite a few people going in to uh, into Rene to change onto onto another service. See if this if this does actually because what we might have had is all these passengers going into Nantes to change to get the bus down the coast. So by putting this new service in, it might just take a few passengers off this line. And if it does, I mean that's obviously not, is it? It's still got 74 passengers on. But if it does take passengers off this line, it means that we'll be able to reinstate the stop at Nose. I think somebody said mentioned about putting a pace of shuttle between Nose and Redon. It might be a good idea that it depends. Because the problem is, is that by doing that, obviously anyone wanting to go like, I don't know, from there to there by train would end up on this pace of shuttle. I do want to sort of concentrate things in the main stations. You know, so there's like loads of passengers to see, trains coming in and out. Much like on our East Yorkshire series when we had Hull. You know, Hull main station with everything flying in, flying out. You see, the Le Croisic local does have a lot of passengers on. Well, it has a lot of passengers waiting anyway. Are we, uh, are we up at the top now? Oh, it's climbing. It's every 20 minutes, for goodness sake. There we go. Come on, let's let's make a bit of cash. Repay. Yep. Because if we can get another train on this, this is going to start really ramping up the amount of cash we're bringing in. Oh, wow, it's second in command there. Look at that. We've still not got to the end. Still not got to the end yet. Let's say, uh, yeah, lengthy route that, isn't it? We're looking for 14 grand. That's the number. I mean, that's got 55 on board, which is excellent. How many are waiting? 56 to go back. Yeah. Keep coming. Keep it coming. Let's just have a look at that Le Croisic local. We're going to need four trains on this, aren't we? An absolute minimum. We can, uh, we can pin that, actually. We'll pin that so we don't accidentally get rid of it, because we want to keep an eye on how he's doing. And how we're doing down in Le Croisic. 33 passengers. That is a lot better than it was. Oh, we're so much uh, so much in debt. Deary me. I mean, look at that. We actually made 10 million. That is awesome. This is going to be full. Oh, deary me. I think we need 14 million. So we'll, we'll get that debt down to 85 million on the loan. Or we'll get the loan down to 85 million. Because, uh, oh, it's full. Because <laughs> if we can get it down to 85 million, we can shove another train on. This guy's going to make us some cash. There we go. Excellent. This is, uh, yeah. I mean, how many has he got on now? He's uh, oh, he's only got 43 on board. I mean, it's, it's not sort of... Oh, this did have four big people waiting. It now only has three, so that is good. We're actually finally making a little dint on it. Oh, off he goes. I think it would still be more beneficial to, uh, or beneficial in general, to shove another train on the, on the uh, Rennes Nantes line. But you know we're, we're sort of in too deep now. The Lacoisic local is in need. It's more in need, isn't it? Right there we go. Pay that back again. Hopefully some people get off at Redon. A few. <laughs> I mean, wow. Okay, there's quite a few waiting there. Oh, they're going the other way, though, so that's fine. That's actually quite interesting. They're actually coming away from here. It's just Ban de Bretagne, which is going to cause us the issue. Right, there we go. Right, you're going to make us a couple of million, surely. Aha. Right, pause. Borrow the money. Yep. That's not what I wanted. Make a new train. So that's going to come out of the, uh, out of the, I'm going to say out of the warehouse, out of the shed. Timetable, right, lines. So we want the Le Croisic local to be part of this. Uh, arrive and depart, yep. Rene interchange, no, that's the one. Right, 11 minutes we'll have to one bunch. And Le Croisic and have 11 minutes there. I think that's probably 11 hours, isn't it? But you know what I mean. Oh no, it's 11 minutes. It's 11 minutes.
I wonder who will actually get there first. He's just set off. He's, uh, oh, it's, it's close. And there's probably 160 waiting there. Yeah, there's 233 waiting there. So, I mean, they're both going to be leaving full. Repay a bit of that again. So that we're in exactly the same boat as we were trying to frantically repay back some loan. There we go. You just you just pop in, my friend. Oh, hang on. It's, he's been cleared. Right, okay. So this guy won. We could just double them up and run them as a six car. Come on, a six car. An eight car. But then I'd, I do like to have the shorter trains and lots of them. I, I think that's quite brilliant. Oh, right. Is he, oh, he's given up. He's going in on the uh, on the adjacent platform. We still have no um, no steps here, do we? Oh, he's, he's going for it. He's not stopping. He's Ben de Britannia. Ben de Britannia. Next stop. It's probably a good thing, actually. We can, uh, we can tackle some of the passenger issues on this line. There we go. Look at that. Right, repay. How many have we got going the other way? Oh, right, okay, so red on 60. That's good. That's brilliant. Because obviously these would not have fit on the other train, would they? So that's, that's really positive. Yeah, we need to do something about this field. <laughs> it looks shocking, doesn't it? The grain growing in the middle of the tracks. We will eventually, people, I promise. Right, there we go. Bit more loan pay back. How many have we got here? Oh dear, 72 via St. Nazaire. I think we could be leaving some behind. Yes. Nobody wanted to get off at Red Dawn. Probably because they all got on at uh, Ban de Bretagne, and if they wanted to go to Red Dawn, they'd just get the bus, wouldn't they? It's probably quicker. Zoom out on there. Whoa, rocket. An absolute rocket. Right, okay. Oh dear, 140 via Red Dawn. Oh, brilliant. This is actually working really, really well. So the Lacoisic, hang on, the Renta Chalon. Oh, we, we've been bumped down again. We're not actually making as much money. I think once we've got four trains on and it can match this. Oh, there we go. It's bumped up again. The Ren Shalom. It just is making so much cash, isn't it? If we hadn't have spent that, we'd have actually made a bit of money that year. That's that's good. Right, repay more. And more. Wow, we might actually get three trains running today. That's uh, that's good stuff. I do want to, you know, once we've started actually making some cash on this. I seem because I had a personal save going, and I seem to remember that it was a lot uh a lot quicker to get off the ground. I actually started down in Brest at the other end of the map, though. Which may, uh, you know, maybe that's a little bit different in terms of the amount of money you're bringing in. I don't know, to be honest with you. There we go. Oh, only 351. That's not a lot. Oh, hang on. The other one's there. What, whatever happened to the unbunching, fellas? Are we just not bothering with that? No? No? Right, let's have a look at the timetable. Did I... Yeah, I did tick it, didn't I? And I put the unbunch time. Maybe he's going to do it at this end of the uh, proceedings. There we go. Right, you stay there. Is he gonna... Is he gonna stop? Yeah, there we go. Right, he's unbunching. Maybe he didn't at the other end. Oh, he's full. Maybe he just didn't at the other end because he was full. Maybe if they're full, they just go. Whoa, the lag, the lag. Probably because I've got it on uh, on hyper speed, but, you know, we want to be able to make some cash and actually build more things, don't we? I do want to sort of be at that stage where you don't need it on, uh, on fast forward to make the money. C220, wow, C280, C180, C220, C220 diesel. Wow, they really got a town with the, uh, the amount of... The amount of variations of cars, like they did with the Alfa Romeo, that's brilliant.
I'm hoping these are all going to sort of be scenery cars and we'll see them whizzing about as well. That'd be good. We're in 1993. Wow, the Ibiza as well. Class 92s. Awesome. It would be great to have some... Uh, oh, wow, 86s as well. 37s in regional railways. Dual wag. Oh, wow, Intercity Swallow DVTs. Metrolinx. What did that say? Tram 2. I don't know. It said something about Tram 2. Let's, let's see it. Oh no, it seems to be managing. Come on, let's have a, a big drop off here to make a lot of cash. Not as much as I thought. Man, you not a lot get off there, do they? Right, here we go. Oh, wow, four people waiting there. That Oh, wow, they're all going for the Likoisic. Oh, hang on, don't, don't pause. We don't need to pause. How's this going? So these are all still going by Nortserdre. So I think that this train is bringing more people in. Well, we'll get four trains running on here. That can be the mission. I'll probably have that done for next time uh, so that we can work on something else. Start making a bit more cash, as I say. Um... Yeah, right, the autosave. Yeah, you, you can't fast forward the autosave, Joe. That's not how this works. Right, oh, look at that, nearly three million. I wonder, if I pause that, can we get three running on that budget? Aha! Brilliant. Same again. Look at him go. He is going to be brilliant. See, he's just going to ban the Britannia. What if I tell him to the Koisic local? Why will he not go to that first stop? Why will he not? That's so bizarre. Is it because he's there already? Just just go. You know, I'm not bothered. Right, hang on. So we'll go for the Koisic local. So that now needs to be seven. Seven. Do you know what? We'll go with seven and twenty. There we go. Seven and twenty. Just so it's a little bit more than the uh, than the frequency. Gives it a bit of padding, doesn't it, if it's late. Where is he now? Right, let's let's try again. The Koisic local. What if I do that? No? Still not having it. What if I go for Chalance? Chateaubriand? Maybe that's not gonna... See again, Bain de Bretagne. Why not here? That's so bizarre. There's nobody at Bain de Bretagne. Alright, fair dues. There's 33 passengers who are not going to get on this one because it's full and standing. Unless, I wonder, do, do people get off this here? Because there's a lot waiting here to go into Rennes, isn't there? Do you know what I might do? I might run a bus as well, just to, you know, alongside it to try and cope with the demand. That might be a good idea. If we, uh, if we have no money. Excellent. Um... Where could we go? We could go up to the main road and sort of on. I might just go through, just direct, you know, straight down. No messing about. Wow, the lag is uh, is quite bad on this. Okay, so there's quite a few getting off, obviously. I, I say obviously. Oh, there we go. Okay, enough for some more people to get on anyway. Where are we now? Oh, you see that's dropped again. It's probably because we've just bought this new uh, this new train for it. Right, well, that is where we're going to leave it for today, ladies and gents. I do hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do click the like button. Always appreciated by myself. Still can't believe that he has gone empty without all those passengers. That's ridiculous. Uh, do make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already so that you never miss out on any uh, any of this fantastic Britannia action. And, uh, yeah, any great ideas you've got, I want to hear them in the comments. I do read them, it's just at the moment money is a little bit tight, so some of the more extravagant ideas we will struggle to, uh, to put into position. But, uh, yeah, apart from that, thanks so, so much for watching, and, uh, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.